head of the TUC, Frances O'Grady, used her address to the 150th Congress on Monday to call for new technologies to pave the way for a shorter working week. Uh, in the 19th century, she told delegates, unions campaign for an eight-hour day. In the 20th century, we won the right to a two-day weekend and paid holidays. So over the 21st century, let's lift our ambition again. That was her rallying cry. British workers put in some of the longest hours in the European Union and around 1.4 million people now work seven days a week, according to the TUC, and 3.3 million people, perhaps you're one of them, work more than 45 hours a week. So what happens when you move to just a four-day week? Rich Lee's company, Radioactive PR, has just gone to a Monday to Thursday working week after a successful trial this summer. We started last week um, post, or you know, after a six-week trial um, in which we worked Monday to Thursday, having the Fridays also effectively a three-day weekend. And the trial was fantastic, uh, you know, picked up feedback from both the team and clients um, regularly throughout and at the end and the most important thing for us was a client's happy because of course they're the ones that pay the bills mm-hmm. and uh, keep all of us you know away from that, that job center which is for us literally across the road and um, they were very very happy so um, there's one question in the in the survey that we had that said would you feel comfortable with us you know continuing the four-day work week beyond the trial and every single Respondent said, yeah, we'd feel comfortable. So um, that, combined with the team feedback, took me to a place of, uh, actually, let's give this a go. We're in an exciting position. We're in a good position to try. Let's try. So uh, we've only had, oh, you know, like I say, we started last week, so we've had the one Friday off, and this is our second week of it full time. Looking forward to a lot more. Well, uh, but but what happens if your client has an emergency, you know, on yeah. a Friday? Absolutely does happen. You know, we work in PR. I mean, I remember maybe two two Christmases ago. I was, you know, it sounds uh, sounds made up, but I was sat eating my Christmas dinner, and I got a call from a client. Something was happening. So um, it's it's not uncommon for something to happen. Uh, you know, crises to uh, you know, kind of rear their head at any given time. Um, we made a promise to clients that just like at the weekend, just like any other time, if they need us, we're there. It's you know PRs. Well, you know, the, as, as you well know, um, the media agenda doesn't stop for anything, and uh, you know, it's a twenty-four-seven cycle. So well, you know, it's, it's around the clock. If we need it, we're absolutely there. Which can be for incredibly mundane things sometimes, but equally, if something, uh, you know, if if one, you know, if a journalist gets in touch like you did self and says, "Can we speak to X client about Y thing?" We've, you know, we've made a commitment to them that you know, mm. those kind of inquiries won't get dropped. But what that throughout the six weeks amounted to was no more than a couple of minutes' work for each client, uh, you know, for each um, member of staff on any given Friday. So it's just like the weekend. Any PR person will tell you that, you know, on a Saturday or Sunday, you, you know, you'll, you'll dip into your emails once or twice anyway. And, uh, you know, if, if we're called by a client, we know it's serious. They know that. You know, we're doing this. It's been communicated well enough. I'd hope that if they're calling us, then there's there's absolutely a reason. But you are right. It's uh, it's very important that they do feel comfortable sure. with the fact that if something happens, we're on the other end of the phone immediately. Now, I'm I, I'm absolutely not casting aspersions, but um, it's it's an honoured tradition that if you've got bad news, you you want to bury it. Um, and you release it on a Friday afternoon because then the, <laughs> you know that the journalists are not paying as much attention as they would be paying, you know, on a Monday morning. You you give that one up, don't you, if you only work Monday to Thursday? <laughs> that was that was actually one of the uh, you know, one of the thoughts behind it was it releases very, very, very rarely. You know, we advise clients all of the time, very rarely go out on a Friday. Um, you guys are harder to get hold of as it is. Um, you know, it's it, it doesn't give you the time with the story necessarily that you might need. It doesn't give us the time to, you know, to quite frankly, to, to you know, work with the story well enough. And, um, I mean, you've got papers now like you know, the, the Metro is the best read daily. They don't even, they don't work on a Friday. Um so it will release some of the journalists' work, but they're not in, in the office on a Friday. So you've got um, you know, various work patterns now that, that mean for us, Fridays kind of became a bit of an, an ad mini day. And I thought, is there a way to, to you know, 
create more of a or you know a better work life balance for the team. Um, obviously, attract better talent. You know, kind of um, show clients that we're you know a company that's willing to uh, you know try something different and you know, put my money where my mouth is, so to speak. And obviously, a lot of clients come to us with the intention of uh, you know improving their reputation or way of things, or, you know, way of doing things. And um, it, you know, it's, a, it's a good look, I guess, as an agency if you're prepared to to try something a bit different and. Uh, yeah, clients have responded yeah. really well to it. So for me, it's a case of, um, yeah, really giving sure. it a good go. Well, well, that was uh, from from uh, Radioactive PR. That was Rich Lee, whose company it is.